Good really morning, Assistant Europe. Public Defender Lauren Perney on behalf of Mr. Barry. Mr. Barry, are you driving? Well, things are moving past his car, so probably so. I'll pass it. He better stop his vehicle. Right, let me stop my vehicle. I'll pass the matter. Uh -huh. You had was, an appointment for August 24 at 3 p.m. When I had a court date, you told me to go to the probation office, and they, they didn't give me a date. They said they would call me. I never got a call, and I've been calling them and, and leaving voicemails. I you're called the lady. My, you're telling me my probation department never got through to you? The content presented in this video is intended for commentary, analysis, and educational purposes, and is protected under the principles of fair use as defined by U.S. copyright law. Welcome back to Kangaroo Court Law, your window into the wild, wacky, and sometimes downright bizarre world of virtual justice. Today, we are diving headfirst into an episode featuring the Honorable Judge Cedric Simpson. We've got two defendants who've managed to raise eyebrows in their own unique ways. First up, we've got a bloke who decided that the best time to attend Zoom court was right in the middle of a traffic jam, literally behind the wheel, navigating the chaos of the city streets. But Judge Simpson wasn't going for it. He shouted, pull over right now, as he skipped the defendant's case. The second defendant is a man who didn't complete his required court orders, but he had all of the excuses in the world. Judge Simpson's dedication to both safety and justice are on full display today. Court calls the case, People versus Stephen Barry. Good morning, Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perney on behalf of Mr. Barry. Mr. Barry, are you driving? Well, things are moving past his car, so probably so. I'll pass it. He better stop his vehicle. Right, let me stop my vehicle. I'll pass the matter. Court calls the case. People okay, versus okay. Stop, Sherry Camilli. You know what? Thank you. Sylvana Reed, He's, assistant public he defender. Up. So he stopped in a bad spot for Wi-Fi. Call him. All right. What are we doing on the Sherry Camilli man? Ms. Camilli, could you please unmute and state your name? Thank Sherry you. Camilli. Court recalls the case of People versus Stephen Barry. Good morning, Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perney on behalf of Mr. Barry. Mr. Barry, can you state your name for the record, please? Barry. Stephen Barry. Diana. Stephen Barry. Council, you read over the pre-sentence report. Are there any additions, corrections, or deletions? No, there are not, Your Honor. I did review it with Mr. Barry as well as the recommendation. We are asking you to adopt the probation's recommendation as per the sentence. Mr. Barry, anything yes. you want to tell the court before I impose sentence? I'd just like to apologize to the courts for uh, my relapse and uh, I learned from my experience that relapse can cause problems in the courts and why I'm out. Okay. Send to the court $555 fines and court costs. When can you pay that? Uh, probably. Could I get on the payment plan? Because I'm on a fixed income. But I have to start paying a, a payment plan this week immediately. You said what? Uh, could I get on the payment plan? But I can start paying uh, this week immediately. How much can you pay this week? 50. 50. And then what do you want to do? 50 each? What? Yeah, every time. 50. Okay. Every two weeks? Every yes, week? Yes, every two weeks, sir. Okay. And you're going to start this Friday? I'm going to start, yeah, this week. All right. $50 on 9-15-2023. And then $50 every two weeks. Yes. Until it's paid in full. Right. So I'll just call it. I'll order 93 days in jail. Credit for two days. The balance is suspended. Thank you, Yana. Right. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, that's it. Good morning, Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perry on behalf of Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, can you state your name for the record? Sharkel Bennett. Sharkel. Sharkel he didn't Bennett. go to his PSI either. Why didn't you attend? Uh, I called them. I never, they were supposed to give me a call. I never got a call or a voicemail. And then I called back. You yes. Appointment for August 24th. Huh? You had August, an appointment for August 24th at 3 p.m. When I had a court date, you told me to go to the probation office. And they, they didn't give me a date. They said they would call me. I never got a call. And I've been calling them and, and leaving voicemails. I you're called the lady. My, you're Please. telling me my probation department never got through to you? I never got a call or a voicemail. Ms. Palera, is, yes, that, all, Teresa, is that true? Um, no, it's incorrect, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. I Bennett did, it did come to, yeah, he did come to the office and he completed his PSI packet on July 26th. He was given the appointment date for um, August 24th. Um, I did attempt to contact him on that date. There was no answer. I left him a voicemail. Um, I know that Mr. Bennett um, did attempt to call my office earlier this week to try to get me to do the appointment um, this week, but it was too close to um, his sentencing date because I had other obligations to this court. Um, so I told him that he had to appear for his sentencing today to explain why he missed his appointment. Hmm. That seems different. I never got any paper that said I had to come there on the 24th. I filled out that paper. <laughs> they and they gave told it me, to you. Huh? You know, counsel, you want him to keep talking or no? Your Honor, no. Mr. Bennett, I didn't I think, think so. What, what probation is trying to say is they gave it to you when you were there just because you didn't have a paper means that you still are obligated to appear. Your Honor, I did inform him that the new appointment was on the 21st uh, of September at, at 1 p.m. Um, I don't want to. Did uh, he hear you? I, yeah, I, I hear her. Did I, you hear her when, when? I heard her. Go, I mean... go ahead, counsel. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's OK. Um, I think. Uh, I know Mr. Bennett's not in the position to make requests at this point. However, oh no, he's not. But go ahead, try. He does um, work until 1.30, so he was asking for that uh, appointment to be set at 2 p.m. No. Oh, I get, because, I get off because he two. can't make it like the last one? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bennett, you say you get off at 2? Yeah, off at 2 o'clock. Okay. Um. So two thirty, if possible. I just we I want to set him up for six. Oh, so now we want to set a time that he won't show up. I'm hoping he'll show up this time, Your Honor. Yeah, we can all Honor, have our hopes. I Ms. would Calera, also. What can we What can we do for Mr. Bennett who can't get seem to get there? Well, can we do I, anything? If I, if we can't, I, that's fine. I can do something. Um, however, I would like it known to the court when he came in to fill out his packet, he was given a notice to appear for his sentencing, which also indicated his appointment date. So he did have paperwork. Um, what he oh, did with I know. paperwork, I don't know. Um, no, I, I know he, he had paperwork because I know how we operate. He's just saying he didn't. So what I can do, Your Honor, I can I can give him October, I'm sorry, September 25th. That is a Monday at 3 p.m. That is so nice of you because I wouldn't have changed it. <laughs> Dependent is re-referred to probation for a pre-sentence investigation and report. You're to pay a $75 referral fee. That's to be paid today. I'll set your new PSI appointment for September 25th, 2023 at 3 p.m. That is in person. I'll repeat that. September 25th, 2023, 3 p.m. in person. I'll adjourn your sentencing to October 11, 2023, 9 a.m. Thank you. Comments, viewpoints, interpretations, and insights expressed in this video are for education and entertainment purposes. All individuals featured in the video are to be presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Please do not attempt to contact, locate, or engage with any individuals featured in the video.